Good morning, everybody. Danny Shea on a Wednesday. It's morning, so I'm in my bathrobe. If it was afternoon and I was in my bathrobe, that would be cool too. But the sun's shining. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. And I hear Northern California is going to be getting rain again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, all these people are talking about, yay, all the reservoirs are filling up. This is so great. Yeah, we're out of the drought. This is a blip. And maybe we'll look into it. But for those who think that, you know, they don't have to conserve water anymore. They don't have to. And I, I'll just take it a big step further. Conserving resources. You're in for a big surprise. Because we're going to be right back there again. We don't know how hot the summers are going to be. Hot evaporating a lot of water. I mentioned in a previous um, uh, video um, years ago, why don't they put solar panels on these lakes and aqueducts? You got po solar pool covers. Well, why don't you do something like that? So who's ever out there that's into water? <clears throat> You all know who I'm talking about. Let's let's get it going. We got any kids that are into this kind of technology? I think so. Um, anyway, new shifts in technology and energy and spirituality are coming at us, but they're not here yet. We got to deal with this stuff. So, um, so the news today, yesterday's big news, right? I'm going to stick that in the middle of the video because I, I just don't want to give him any more oxygen. So stupid. Um, but the big news is NATO. Finland is now a part of NATO. That's huge, huge news. Um, they're saying, hey, we need to not be divided anymore. We need to be one, um, what did they say? A new era of un alignment. I couldn't even say it. A new era of alignment. And isn't that what we want in the U.S.? A new era of alignment? We got a little bit of that in Wisconsin with the new Supreme Court judge. She got elected, yay. Um, and that is tapping down all the crazy with um, that are uh, that are not for women's health care rights, women's rights, climate denial, guns, anti-police extremism. That's huge because Wisconsin was kind of pivotal. P having a hard time talking today. Pivotal. So, yes, a new era of alignment. However, the flip side, Tennessee. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Tennessee. Well, Tennessee. 7,000 kids marched on the Capitol. Some Democrats were like in the House of Representatives were chanting, trying to get, you know, the body to pay attention to this gun issue crisis. And um, the, the Republicans who lead that House said that um, the Democrats dishonored those hallowed halls, hollow halls, um, with their chants. The Republicans said that about the Democrats when they want gun control. Let's not even talk about the national Republicans screaming out. I'm not gonna. She 
compared 45 to Jesus. Did you hear that? Well, we'll get into it later. But so we have Wisconsin, yay. We have North Carolina, Trisha Gotham. She was a Democrat in the House of Representatives for Tennessee, and she's flipped to a Republican, giving that legislation in Tennessee, North Carolina, veto power. Is that right? Veto proof. So if the governor, who's a Democrat, decides to veto a crazy law that the Republicans are all putting in there, um, they can veto it. They, they can reverse the veto. So I want to look at um, her just to see where it is. But first, let's get to NATO. I like this. I like this new era of alignment. And so I'm going to use my galactic deck here to talk about the new era of alignment. And let's just see what can we get? What does what do our galactic friends have to say about this what some are calling a new era of alignment? That's okay. Oh. Bonus. And, okay, let's pull this down so you can see. Let me move this over to here, move my notes around. All right, let's see. I'm using my old, my old bang. Let's kick these over so you can see what I got. Bonus cards. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, spiritual sovereignty, Asani parallel. I got hair all over my table. Unbelievable. All right, spiritual so sovereignty, Asani. Um, it seems, uh, I have to go back and look at this. This Spiritual self sovereignty is all about balance, complete balance. So when, when we talk about this, what did he call it again? Um, era of an alignment. It means that we're coming into a balance. We have to balance our spiritual aspect and our 3D aspect. And it comes together and we can do this. We can use this if we flip out of our 3D time stream, go into um, a higher dimensional vibration. We can tap into that. That complete balance. It's talking about allowing us to have freedom. Certainly, this new era of cooperation and alignment, keeping people from infringing on your borders, is, I, I think that it is, uh, I think that's freedom, because certainly you look at Ukraine, you look at some of the parts in Syria and some of these other war countries where people are just going in and tearing them up. Um, I, I feel like that is, is the message of balance, that we get to live within our own awarenesses. And we may disagree with somebody, but as long as as we still have our freedom to choose our own path, our own spiritual sovereignty in balance, I think that's what the Galactic Heritage Deck is 
is saying. We're going to keep going. We also have spiritual technology. And th this is in the present. This is all about using our technology for a higher purpose, a higher good. If, and we can do this in, in I'm going to lift this up so y'all don't have to just stare at the cards. Now you got to stare at me. But, um, I digress. S spiritual technology. We can do this on an individual um, individual uh, mode. When we go to um, a store, we get to pick what company we want to support. I was watching uh, another video today on remote viewing um, and it was talking about that that aspect of it and I've been thinking about this how do we come together as a as a planet it, well there's so much about greed that gets in the way you're gonna take this away from me well if you go back to indigenous peoples the way they lived it many lived a life of you can't take it from me because I give it to you. I'm like, all right. All right. Now, personally, I'm, I'm not there yet. So don't be asking for my Lambos. Stop. Got a line. I thought I was going to stop talking about them. It's just too damn funny, though. Well, to me. All right. So I must ask for, as we go down, your forgiveness with me talking about Lambos. And I am grateful for you giving me forgiveness because I keep talking about that. Forgiveness and gratitude, the cetacean dolphin, the parallel. This is number one. Gratitude is, is the, one of the biggest things. I, I, I don't know. Maybe forgiveness is the other huge thing. I don't, is there anything bigger? Well, we can debate that. We can go into that. We can go into the balance of spiritual sovereignty on that. Um, but with this new era of alignment, forgiveness and gratitude, and, and, we got a bonus. We got linear thinking, but that's in the past. So we think in these, in these, um, one thing follows another, follows another, follows another, which is not necessarily true. One thing will follow another, which is above another, which is below another, which is in beyond, behind. In I mean, it, it's all cray, cray, right? If you're thinking linear, linearly, so let's not. Let's get into the parallel thought process of forgiveness and gratitude. And how do we do this sometimes when we're linearly thinking? One of the tools that I certainly use is the shamanic journey. This is cetacean, whale, resonance, um, feeling that vibration and then coming into this new alignment the last card is refining galactic lineage and again um, this is the Pleiades I thought it said parallel but it's the present this this NATO act is refining our galactic lineage. We are becoming more of an enlightened race, enlightened world. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We are getting there. 
And if we go into shamanic journeys and if we do our transmutation practice, if we do our work of putting out positive thoughts, um, enlightenment, then we are refining our galactic lineage. Wow. That was a little Sunday with spirit on Wednesday. That was good. That was good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's um, move on to linear thinking. <laughs> Some of you are going, no. Some of you are going, well, we've already turned off the channel, so we're not even. Anyway, let's look. Um, I want to look at this uh, before I get into Mr. Pumpkinhead. Uh, North Carolina, Trisha Gotham. So she switched from a Democrat to a Republican. And she was saying that the Democrats are no longer the big tent and that she was tired of the bullying. And I'm like, what is going on with her? Now, I don't know. I don't know anything about her. I don't know. So y'all in Tennessee, oh, by the way, guys, yikes. First thing I see, Missouri, my home state, the state that I was born in, the state that has my hillbilly Republican toothless brother, but he's a prepper, so hey, he's all good. Um, The tornadoes going through the center part of our country. Whew. Guys, please be safe. Listen to listen to the um, emergency warnings. Please, please, please heed them. I can't. So often we just go, yeah, okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm good. Oh, just please listen to him. Okay, enough of my begging. I'm begging you. I don't even know you guys. But um, Tennessee. No, I'm looking at North Carolina. Gosh, dang it. Hang on. Yes, I did say gosh, dang it. Gosh, dang it. Because that was this school kids. Where's that harmon harmonic balance? Okay. Looking at Trisha Gotham. What's going on with Trisha Gotham? Why did she switch parties? Why did she switch parties? Trisha. She's got deep roots in the Democratic um, Party, from what I read. Trisha Gotham. What is going on? I just heard she got money. I just heard um, money from the NRA. Really? I thought they were broke. Are they still broke? Well, I know they're broken, but Trisha Gotham. What's the four one one? What's the four one one? What's this skinny? On Trisha Gotham. Oh. Using One World Tarot. Spy in the camp. Sneaking, not spy in the camp, sorry. Sneaking into camp. Taking one's defenses. Still leaving him with something, the governorship. But leaving, leaving North Carolina. I keep saying Tennessee. Leaving North Carolina. Um... Kind of stealing the the voice, the Democratic voice. I mean, they didn't have a lot of voice, but they have the governor. And I don't know if it the, if it's the gerrymandering there that um, is producing the imbalance in the legislature. Probably. 
And it's just, and just to be a little balanced, Democrats gerrymander too. So that probably should just stop. But um, that's above my pay grade, so I don't know. So sneaking into camp, leaving, stealing um, a bunch of swords, leaving two, taking five. Ooh, high Priestess. She's got some secrets. Something's going to come up. In the base, as it relates, is the hanged man. Suspension. What's going on here? Um, time out. What's going on here with that? Eight of Swords being tied up. Something. Oh, something weird is going on. I'm going to just keep throwing this world card. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Okay. One more. Okay. Let's try to make sense out of this because I got to tell you, it's... Okay, maybe I need to raise this up. Bear with me. There we go. Stay. There we go. So, we have her stealing, um, leaving the Democrats defenseless. She has some secrets here. The High Priestess, she's, um, she's certainly playing the... I mean, she's in government, so this is... This is like the Hierophant, only the female version in simplistic terms. Um, she is uh, either putting that Democrats upside down or she's upside down. She's taking another look at something since this is her, um, but it's her role in the government. In the past, she felt too restricted, which is why she made this change. Not sure what her restriction was on this. Is she going to be? Is she going to be a mole in the Republican world? Is she going to be a disruptor in the Republican world? She has the world card at the top of the reading. So the world card, the High Priestess, and the Hangman. Those are huge major arcana cards, and we're not even getting to the last two yet, which are huger, more huger. Um, and in the near in the near future position is the winning at any cost. And so when I said something about is is she going to be the disruptor in the Republican Party? I don't think that she's going to fall lockstep in line with all of their extremists. I think she might be battling a little bit. The internal position is her fighting five of wands. So is she very conflicted about this? Possibly. External position is the Four of Wands coming together with the Republicans. She's like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. False celebration, possibly. Hopes and fears. The Seven of Wands defending herself, letting that go. The final outcome, which is uh, let me just keep going and try to make sense of this. She has the sun card. Illumination. Plain. Um, it, 
it's normally a great positive, positive card. But as she switched her allegiance, it was certainly the end of the, the Democratic veto proof. I mean, it allowed the Republicans to be able to um, stop a veto from the government. But then you have the Two of Cups as a clarifier, which tells me that she's still going to be in alignment with the democratic principles, but so I'm not seeing it as, I mean, you have the Seven of Swords. She she was a thief. She went in there and she stole that. It, it to me it. Okay, let me lift this up. To me, it feels like if come on, straighten up. To me, it feels like if you campaign as a Democrat or a Republican. You can't switch in the middle. You have to stay true to those principles because that's what the voters voted you in on, those principles. Yes, we should be looking at all of the pluses and minuses of the people who we're putting in, but a lot of times we don't. We'll vote Democratic, we'll vote Republican, whoever it is. You know, you saw that with these, these Republicans who are saying, whoever our nominee is for the president, I will vote for them because I'm Republican. And they say that for Democrats. We say that on this channel, vote Democrat. Well, because we think we have the better, okay, I know, think, let's cross that, because we have the better the better platform. But if we go back to the first reading where, where we have the, um, I forgot the, the term, the spiritual parallel where we're in balance, everybody gets to have a say, but we're all going for the same thing. So let me go back to, to this woman again. People are going, who cares? Um, Tracy Gotham. Is Tennessee... Is Tennessee... Is the governor going to be able to veto some extreme MAGA bills? Is the governor going to be able to veto some extreme bills that aren't in parallel, that aren't balanced with values. And it's because of this woman, Gotham. Is she going to veto Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three ones. I got this again for the final outcome. So dropping it down so you can see. Real, we're just going to go through this and then we're going to get into some other stuff because I'm already at 30 minutes. So um, we have the page of wands, new information, new. And in this deck, this is inclusive information. This is a balance. This is not something that's extreme. It's being crossed by the Five of Pentacles loss. So the positive message is being lost. Moving on to Calmer Waters, defending herself. She had, a, a, she had a, some kind of problem in the past with her um, defending herself, being restricted. She's looking to the future 
but she is working with both parties. So I am not seeing this as um, these extreme laws getting passed. Some will, but she is not going to side all the time with Republicans. Even though she now is one. Man. All right. So let's get into what else? We did NATO. We did um, Wisconsin, North Carolina, kind of balancing each other out. Not balancing, but um, we got one good thing and then we got one bad thing. Talked about Tennessee and guns. It's crazy. All right. Let's talk about this is what you all wanted to see, and this is what you guys didn't see. I want to bring um, Mr. Pumpkinhead, David Dennison, in. You all know who he is. You all wanted to see him in handcuffs. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. We're going to read on you. I would like you to sit over there and be quiet. Is that okay? No. Yeah. Can you go over there and be quiet? No. I'll put some tape on your mouth. I'll put a gag order on you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be good. Yeah. He's not going to be good. He's... Oh, well, since we're reading on you, I'm going to use my Halloween deck. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> it's, just, it's just crazy. Crazy. 34 federal indictments. So we were being told that there may be one federal, 34. And uh, my wife was telling me, she goes, if he gets charged on all 34, do you know how long he can be in prison? It was like 100 years. I don't know. I think it's four years for each. So when I was... Skimming the news, skimming it, because we'll find out later on what's going on. Um, it Some people were going, it was really smart of what Bragg did. It's now a lot easier to prove. And then some people were saying, this is really going to be hard to prove. Well, it's not hard to prove that. He's indicted. That's a fact. So Marjorie Taylor Greene compared him to Jesus and Nelson Mandela. I think she was out there spewing for 10 minutes. I guess she didn't have batteries in her bullhorn. Oh, she probably forgot to. Never mind. I was going somewhere. I was going somewhere. No, shut up, Danny. Don't do it. All right. Okay. Um, should I call this segment the pot calling the kettle black? I think I will. Donnie Jr. came out. So the judge put a warning on Mr. Pumpkinhead saying, you got to stop the rhetoric. Be mindful of what you're saying. Admonishing the lawyers. You talk to your clients on both sides. You get them to behave. So Donnie Jr. comes out and starts attacking the judge and the daughter, maybe even the wife, saying they're Democratic love and they supported, they gave money to the Democrats, which proves that they are leftist, blah, 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 blah. So Taco Pia, Taco Pia, he's one of Trump's attorneys. Um, 
I think he he donated to a Democrat. He donated to a Democratic representative who who told the FBI investigate this guy, right? Is that what? Is that? Yeah, wanted a criminal refer sent a criminal referral to the FBI in 2021. Kathleen Rice, he voted for her. Oh my God, shocking, shocking. Well, what about the other lawyer, the woman lawyer? Just a little jealous of her hair, just as a vanity thing. Um, Susan Nettles, she voted for Hillary. She did. Wow. Wow. Those those lawyers have it out for him secretly. They're going to throw Mr. Pumpkinhead under the bus. All right. So, do I have anything to even say on that? Um, let's just dig in. Let's just do a 411 on how is Trump feeling. And then I want to look into Junior, too, because... You know, you, it's going to bite them, all this rhetoric. You don't throw stones. Here we go. How's Trump feeling? How is Trump feeling? clear this. When I looked at him, I'm going, he's not going to make it. When I looked at his eyes, I got really, really sad. Because I've seen those eyes before. And then the person didn't last very long on this planet. Is is forty five? Well, let's just do four really quick. How's he feeling? We'll do five really quick. How's he feeling? Okay. Whew. Well, there he is. Two of imps. That's the judge holding the two sides apart, trying to. All right. Um, at the base of this, ooh, he's crazy. He's howling at the moon, but it came in upside down. So I guess I'm reading reversals with Mr. Pumpkinhead's deck. Upside down moon. So. He wants, to, he wants to say even more, but he can't. He wants to howl at the moon. He wants to say, this judge is such and such. Bragg is a such and such. Blah, 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 blah. But that's being restricted. His craziness is being tapped down. Is it from the judge pulling the two sides apart? I mean, and this is not my judge card by any means, but this is the pumpkin deck. Anything goes. All right. Oh, he is worried. He is worried. And he's not thinking very clearly. And you may go, Danny, why do you say that? Because he's got bats flying in his belfry. Look at that. What is a belfry? I don't know. It's that bong bong thing, right? Can you imagine 
being the, the clanker in Donald Trump's head. Ooh. Ooh. Why did I go there? Seven of imps. Mm. Seven of imps. Is one of his lawyers pointing to the big house? You could end up there if you don't behave. And everybody's looking at that. Ooh, is that Donnie Jr.? Everybody's looking at the little kid. You go, you're not. You're a fake imp. You're not real. You're a fake. You fake. Is that what they're seeing? We don't know. This is what Donnie's saying. And Mr. Pumpkinhead is saying this whole thing is a fake. So, yeah. And, ooh, mommy. Queen of Pumpkins. So, Queen of Pumpkins. What's he feeling, the Queen of Pumpkins? He's still not feeling the, the effects of this, that seriousness of this he still thinks yeah i'm okay i got this let's just look at for fun for giggles three cards let's look at the attorneys for mr Pumpkinhead. i mean they're they're down, they're digging it, they're digging into the, you know, the defense. So they're really, you know, they're, they're focused on that. Um, the Tappy Taco guy, I think he's going to be a fly in the ointment. I think, I think he's gone. And I don't, I, I don't see the guy sticking around. What about the woman? I kind of feel like she may be sticking around, but it's... Uh, I don't know. Let's just look at that. Um, I'm going to switch decks again because we're not looking at Mr. Pumpkinhead. Let's... Look at the attorneys. Are they going to stick around to the end? Are these attorneys going to stick around to the end to see this through? Or is Trump going to have to find another parking lot attorney? Is he even working with that woman? I think her name was Haba or uh, I can't keep track. Are these attorneys going to stick it through to see the end? And when I was shuffling, I went, do they, do they want the limelight? Is that it? So anyway, we got five of cups loss being challenged by the nine of pentacles. It's, it's the money, honey. <clears throat> At the base of this is the Empress, at the top Seven of Swords, in the past is the Seven of Swords, at the top is Judgment. Yeah, I think they are going to see it through. Okay. Um, maybe not all of them, but certainly that says yes. This says yes, they're going to see it through to the Judgment. Um, it doesn't say whether they'll be successful or not. They just say, well, they're going to get to the end and it's going to be, you know, woohoo, got to the end. That's kind of what I thought from that reading. And it's really interesting when you read for you new people who are um, picking up tarot decks and, and digging into 
this practice, it's all about when we when we get into this, it's all about our intent and the way we phrase a question. Some people go, oh, you didn't get that right, or you blah, 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 blah. Well, it's not necessarily that we didn't get it right. It's that we didn't ask the right question. Because if we are truly accessing the, the higher realm, the quiet realm, which is difficult, so you got to shut all that noise off, when you get into that quiet, still place, there are no wrong answers. You get the right answers. You probably need to, uh, if, if the answer doesn't seem right, you have to go look at the question. How did you phrase it? Because I got to tell you, those guides and angels, they are very linear in their thinking. I just got a, slight, a psychic slap. Behave. All right. Um, with the energy right now, this will change. With the energy right now, Is Trump going to be convicted on any one of these charges? Is Trump going to be convicted with any one of these charges? get crazy on me. Don't go nuts. It's going to take a lot of work. Is Trump going to be convicted of any of these charges? It's going to take a lot of work. If you look at that guy, kind of looks like Trump sitting. Well, he's got the same hair. Here, we just... We just superimpose this. There. Oh, see? Kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Oh, no, doesn't. Well, your arms are crossed. Yeah, but, okay. Sorry. He said it, not me. They're going to make him an offer, but he's not going to look at it. He's going to go, no, no. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Is Trump going to be convicted? Three of Cups, Celebration. This felt like, yes, he is. He's not going to take the plea. He's going to get convicted with the energy today. A lot can go on. A lot can change. But the way that Bragg has laid this out, yeah. All right. Let's really clear the energy. Woof. Get out of there. And let's use um, the Light Seer's Tarot for one card. This flew out of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. For us, the Ace of Pentacles. Do something new besides listening to me talk about Mr. Pumpkinhead besides being so focused on the news. Um, I find personally, I mean, I'm addicted to it, right? It, it's, it's bad. Um, but it's all the same stuff. I mean, I do want to know about our country. I do want to see it come together and be unified. I want to see what the Galactic Heritage deck has for us in this, in this unity consciousness. I don't know if I'm going to see it in my lifetime, though. 
which is where I go into the shamanic journey. Let's bring it, if it's not in my lifetime, for my nieces, nephews, their kids' lifetime, let's see it in the future. We are moving towards new beginnings. Let's not fall into what the media wants us to listen to. Let's create our own new beginning. And I, I, this deck, this deck is so cool. This, we are down here. We are in the roots. We are putting roots down into the earth with this Ace of Pentacles. So right now, it's not, it's just new. It's a new idea, a new project, a new way forward. We need to plant it. We need to water it and promote it in a balanced, healthy way. So what are we doing to support this Ace of Pentacles? Thank you for all watching. It's a beautiful sunny day out. I'm going to take my robe off and enjoy it. Peace and love.